Hello and welcome back to the GSE shop where I work on everything and you get to watch and we both learn a little something. So today's project is my camper or should I say me and the wife's camper our camper the family camper and what's happened is my emergency disconnect switch Well, as you can see it, ooh, let's try that there, yeah, it's not working correctly. Actually, come to think of it, it's not working at all. Why? Because some smack off stole the pin out of it. So whenever I went to leave, I couldn't find it, couldn't hook up, had to disconnect it just to get home. But I got my new one. I picked up rather cheaply. And I'm going to go over how to disconnect and wire it back up and all that good stuff. Alright, so stay tuned. Here we go. So basically you're going to need three tools to do this job. A socket and wrench, or a socket ratchet and a wrench, a pair of pliers, and a screwdriver. Okay, so here's what you got to do. First off, you got to find it. Which is, like I showed you before, mine is right there, and I've already loosened the bolt, so if you'll excuse me, I, oops, dang it, this picture was more than a film laying on my back than I thought. Sheet metal screw, anyway. But for some reason, anyway, I'll get that out later. Then you follow your wires back along the frame, and they should come to. A junction box somewhat similar to this. Let's see if I can zoom out a little more. All right. Well, anyway, the first wire was hooked here, and I've since disconnected it. That's uh, that's that's this wire. Oh, focus. Wait, 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 there we go. Right there. Sorry, I'm filming this laying on my back. And the reason I know that is the blue wire off your trailer plug is your brake wire. So this connects to the brakes because this is coming from the trailer. I have ants crawling on me now. Wonderful. And then the second wire usually goes to the battery. But in case of an RV, the battery connects straight to this plug here from, you know, that battery that's in that box straight to here so you disconnect this and you hook your wire from it through the switch to here okay and I'm gonna go over well actually let's go over that now 
see how this works is apologize for all the camera movement but I'm trying my best here beautiful sky but anyways part of all my hands connected to the trailer that wire goes to your pickup truck and there's constant voltage on one of them one side or the other it doesn't matter which okay just as long as one side is connected straight to the battery the other side goes connected straight to the brakes if you pull that pin out it allows the circuit to close it closes the switch it sends power up one wire, out the other. So it goes straight from the battery, straight to your brakes. Locking up your brakes. So that if your truck and your trailer ever disconnect, you don't lose, or you, your brakes lock up instantly instead of just flying down the highway with no brakes. There is an ant that has crawled the whole way up to my hand. Right there he is. Say hi, auntie. Hi, world. But anyway, pains I go through for you guys. Anyway, uh, it's a really simple circuit, so I'm going to go ahead and throw all this on so you guys don't have to see me spin the camera around a thousand different directions, because I'm probably going to edit some of that out anyway. And I'll go ahead and throw this on, get that stubborn sheet metal screw out, and show you where I end up. Okay? Bye. Alright, I got it reinstalled with the same bolt. The self driller, that's why I kept getting sucked back in. But anyway, run the wires on back. Excuse me while I move over here. Wire, wire, wire. And then run them on back to here. Now, this is the main feed for the trailer. Straight from the battery. That's where I tied in the first wire. Okay, that's your positive battery positive going out the second wire if you want to rewind this footage you can there was only two wires on it before just to prove that I did it there's a third wire and a neat little thing I noticed that they must have done from the factory they tied little knots in the wires here so you can't you know you can't pull them back out I thought that was pretty ingenious now if you're doing this with a travel tra uh, like my flatbed trailer or any other trailer for that matter Instead of coming here to this junction, it should go off to a battery somewhere. But seeing as how this battery is fed into this junction box, that's where it's at. Alright, that's another mission complete. Ooh, yeah, good job.